shows you how bad the weather conditions were in Munich. You can see how bad the snow was. The plane actually breaking up on impact. That's why people think that clock always shows the time as four minutes past three. That was the time of the tragedy. You've all seen it, you all know now, it shows the correct time. And this picture here, this picture was taken in August 1957. That is six months before the Munich air crash. What we've done is we've coloured in red the shirts of the eight players that were killed in the crash. Bearing in mind this picture was taken six months before the crash, do you notice anything strange about it? The colour. All eight players that died this is are on one thing. side of the picture. Yeah. That picture was taken six months before the plane crash. Is that a coincidence? Sheer coincidence. <laughs> So of course it was February, it was the middle of the football season, and football had to go on. So 13 days after the crash, United were asked to play a game here against Sheffield Wednesday in the FA Cup. 60,000 fans inside the stadium, between 10 and 15,000 locked out trying to get in. On a wave of emotion, United win the game 3-0 and even managed that season to get to the cup final before losing 2-0 to Bolton Wanderers. But before the game against Sheffield Wednesday, when we printed the programme, we knew what the Sheffield Wednesday team was going to be. We hadn't got a clue what the Manchester United team was going to be, so the programme was left totally black. What we now know is the goalkeeper, Harry Gregg, and the right fullback, Bill Fawkes, caught a train back from Germany and played in that game 13 days after escaping from the plane crash. 